Archbishop of Sokoto Catholic Diocese, Matthew Kuka, has described the APC's Muslim Muslim ticket as a setback to Nigeria's integration. Since Tinubu announced the former Borno State Governor Kashim Shetima as his running mate for the 2023 presidential election, the Muslim Muslim ticket has been generating controversies in the country, especially among the Christians who believe that the ticket is not fair to the Christian community in the country. In an interview on Channel Television on Thursday night, Bishop Kuka said that as a Christian, the ticket is not acceptable to him and claimed that the ticket has taken the country back after the progress we thought we have made in terms of national integration. He said that Christians had agreed to Muslim Muslim tickets twice in the past and asked if the Muslims would have done the same if the reverse was the case in favor of the Christians. He recalled that in 1983, when General Buhari came into power as head of state, he picked Sunde Idiagbo as his deputy and that Nigerians did not have a problem then. He said that maybe that is where the issue started from. He added in 1983, Nigerians had gotten to a point under Abacha that whatever was required to get the military out, we, we are going to do it. I think we exaggerated what happened in 1993. But moving forward, the question I will ask my friends from northern Nigeria is, we Muslims in northern Nigeria be ready to make the same concession that Christians made in 1984 and 1993. Okay. I don't really understand it. This is uh, so-called, I don't know, the men of God or some people, not, not everybody, some people, because I don't know why Bishop Kuka is talking about this now. Maybe since uh, this uh, talk about the uh, Muslim Muslim tickets, maybe this is the opportunity or that was the opportunity he had to speak since that time because this issue everybody has really put it behind them because i've never really heard a uh, bishop Kuka say anything concerning this uh, muslim muslim ticket at least from his own corner i'm sure that was the first time he was being asked maybe that is why he's not talking about it now but he ought to have made the statement because a lot of people were not even a lot of people maybe influential people have not a uh, been having the opportunity to be asked that question was on their own personal capacity whether they are through their uh, social media or whatever statements be made somewhere that they are not really happy about it because when i heard that a uh, bishop Kuka is talking about it i was surprised that, ah, this issue of a muslim muslim ticket i think everybody has really put the whole thing behind them and since a uh, apc pd apc and Tinumbu, they've already made up their mind so be it also uh, also, the people to when the time comes, they will respond in their own capacity. So there's no need flogging this whole thing back and forth because they will argue it which other way. But they have already done their part. But when it comes to when those who are not happy about it, when when the time comes for them to do their own part, they should do it. They should not hesitate for doing it. So people should just even leave this matter. But I'm just looking at it from the angle that maybe since this whole incident, he had not had the opportunity of being asked. Maybe that is why me, I'm surprised because we should just put all of those things behind us. Behind us. Since they said they know what they are doing. Yes, those of them that do not like what they do, if you know what you are saying, you have your point, they have your point. They've made their own decision. So it is now you, you are the one that will make the last decision. And let's see how all of those things goes. All of those things, how they go. Well. With due respect, Father, the Muslims in Nigeria have accepted several of such from Agoin Erosi to General Gowan. Look closely at the nomenclature of Nigeria public life and judge which religion is more favored. I think it is time we put the politicians on their toes and ask them for accountability but not religion. All of them should be considered. He can't say, oh, it does not matter, it does not matter. But the question he asks, if we want to look at it from his own angle, if the reverse has been the case, would they allow it? I heard a cleric, a Islamic cleric, saying that uh, if Tinumbu as a Muslim does not win in 2023, 
that it's going to be a, a slap or an insult. It will be so shameful. I, I was just wondering, what does that really mean? They are the ones, the people, I've only said it. Those who are always talking about a one Nigeria, in the real sense, they are the ones who hate Nigeria. And when you talk about it, oh, the religion does not matter. They are the ones that bring this whole thing to the fore. We know our problems. We know how we've been rolling. Let us maintain that. I uh, know that you want to come and change some things and you say it does not matter. The question is that if the reverse has been the case and with the situation of things happening now, that is why people are saying no. You know, before now, people always talk about a full and ESME, this and this and that, how nice they have been and what have you. But since Buhari came on board, everything has just changed. Buhari is a bad market. Buhari is a bad, is, is a, is, is a bad, bad market. I, I, I mean, that's just the way I can see it. Because those things that Nigerians were still trying to, okay, ah, everybody was just trying to be politically correct and what have you. People were just trying to manage. But this man came on board and scattered this whole thing. You talk about a uh, lopsidedness in appointment, he will do it with impunity. Uh, spending money outside this country with impunity without even considering the mindset of the people he doesn't care whether he's aware of what is happening is a different thing altogether but people are working those who they are called kabas are working based on what he meant he might not really be up and doing in knowing the affairs of this country but because they know what he stands for they know his antecedents they are using that and bringing it out which is not even different from what he has like I said, when you talk about Fulani Esme, go and ask majority of the people, especially in the south. I don't know about in the north because, unfortunately, majority of the people in the north don't even talk as much. They always try to cover themselves because of, uh, you know, ah, our people and all of that, and which is really eating them so badly. So what I need to, I'm saying is that if you go and ask the people from the southern part of the country, they are always giving good testimonies concerning this Fulani Esme, and which has been the reality but all of a sudden whether there's an agenda they were looking for somebody who is going to carry out the agenda i don't understand but as soon as Buhari came on board the whole thing just changed and people you begin to hear people say oh these are not the same full and yes men we used to work together live in peace and all of that then why all of a sudden Buhari came and the whole thing just changed and the people themselves they are not talking and it's as if they were waiting for this period to come and that was the reason why People, because of what has been happening, when you talk about this Muslim Muslim ticket, oh, they say it happened in the past, people didn't even talk about it, but why now? But because things are changing. And that was why people rejected Ruga. Nigerians rejected Ruga that the way things are going with all these people, with the way Buhari is going, that he is going to be disastrous. And we can see it. We can see it. And they are still acting it. So the same way people are saying Muslim Muslim ticket must have been accepted in the past but with the way things are going nobody wants to take chances and that is the reason why there's change because there's always there must be change at some point in time so what was obtainable in the past you can't use it with what is happening now you can't so that is just the reason for all of you who are saying it does not matter it does matter at this point in time and that was why people rejected the ruga and you can see that the reason why the southerners rejected that ruga Yes, they have been proven right. Yes, that they are right for not agreeing to that. So, guys, uh, let's hear your opinion concerning what uh, Father Abbey Bishop Kuka has said.